Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Space Engineers. For once, we do not find ourselves in the endless black. No, no, sir, we find ourselves amidst the endless gold. That's right, we've got ourselves some incredibly high quality grass in front of us here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and climb off our perch here and oh, oh my ankles hurt. I'm sorry the gravity of a real planet hurts. This over here, this is our rover yet to be named. You know what to do people, get in the comments. Envision a world Give where we seize our destiny for ourselves <laughs> and get in the comments. <laughs> Tell us what you want to see. Our previous playthrough uh, up in the stars somewhere over there did not go particularly well, had a bit of a <clears throat> an explosive end and so we decided to uh, crack out and uh, take our take our chances down here on the planes now we did see all of your quests do a piracy playthrough we're still working out how exactly we're going to balance that and uh, while we're doing that this playthrough is going to fill the void now this is something i have always wanted to do in space engineers and that is to build a fully self-contained mobile mega base so I want to build a gigantic base on wheels that'll like fill up half the screen here, right? But it's mobile, it moves. Maybe it's a VTOL, maybe it flies, maybe it's got wheels, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me build. Uh, the goal here is pretty open-ended. It's pretty much just that I want it to be self-contained. So it has to be able to produce its own power, its own uh, resources, it has to refine those resources and be able to repair itself, all that good sort of stuff. Maybe be able to produce other vehicles or store them like a carrier. I don't know, some really cool ideas there, I think. But we, it's going to take a little while, and it's going to take a long while, actually, before we're at the point where we can do it. Now, Magic and I have put together quite a few challenge runs on this channel, and this one is still going to be a challenge run, of course, the challenge being that we are going to build the big base. We've also got a few mods, link in the description to the full mod list, uh, that are going to add a little bit of difficulty, but this is also going to be a more beginner-friendly series. Uh, a lot of people did mention in the Suit Only Survival, which is our most successful series by far, that they did kind of wish we spent a bit more time explaining some of the elements, and that's what we're going to be going for in this one. It's by no means a tutorial series, I would never make that claim. Splitzy has some very good stuff on that if you'd like to see it, but uh, this is going to be a pretty good open-ended start. If you'd like to get into the modding scene, I think this would be a good place to be. Most of the stuff we've added is very much just quality of life with a couple of encounters just to keep things interesting. For example, there's a smug dark centipede over there. I don't know what he's got so much to brag about, but hey, you know what? Good for him. Now, one important piece of tech before we get into the new UI elements you see on screen is you've heard of litho breaking? Get ready for arbor breaking. That's right. 100 to zero in 0.1 seconds, baby. And look at that. Now we get a cool hat we can take with us. No, my boy. All right, but this, this little rover handles very well as long as you drive in a straight line. So don't mind me as I pick a direction and stick to it. Speaking of directions, we've got ourselves some new UI elements. Up in the top of the screen, you'll see a compass. Over in the top left, you will find yourself some survival elements. Ooh, that's right. Rather than uh, the standard space engineer's experience, which is just breathe and exist, you know, isn't that the dream? We've now got to eat, drink, and uh, take care of our mental too. Basically what that means is you can't just be running around all the time, you do need to have a rest spot. I think sitting in this chair will regenerate your quote-unquote stamina or rest, but uh, it, it does sort of very slowly go back up. Uh, sleeping is the best way to handle it. Uh, eating and drinking are handled by producing food and water, I know riveting stuff here. I figured it would just add just a little bit more complexity to the playthrough, you know? Something something, something extra for us to sink our teeth into. So we're gonna, oh god, uh, we're gonna navigate our way through the forest and definitely not be accused of deforestation, and ha, huh, there it is! We're gonna park ourselves next to some of the stone here and get to mining. So let's uh, pop ourselves at the top of the hill. All right, in the bottom left corner, you've got your standard UI stuff. You've got your health, you've got your oxygen, you've got your energy, and hydrogen. Hydrogen is your jetpack fuel. On, uh, he on high gravity planets like this one, it does tend to go down quite quickly. Speaking of gravity, bottom right of the toolbar there, you'll see there's artificial gravity and planetary gravity. Planetary gravity on Earth is one. This is sort of the baseline for the game. All right, so we are going to go and go ahead and grab some stone, and that's so that we can make food. And now, I know you, you may be asking yourself, what is this Flintstones ass behavior I see before my very eyes? And don't you worry, I'm confused too. But I am at heart a simple man, and a simple man requires simple things. For example, just some delicious stone nuggets to crunch down on. 
There we go, we put the stone in the back, and I don't know if you could see the suspension on the car dropped quite appreciably there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just bump those back wheels up a little bit. What's the, what's the suspension strength? 6%? You know what, let's make that 8%. There we go, just get that back off the ground now that it's heavy. I'm going to go over to the production tab, this will speak to my survival kit, and I'll tell it to produce ingots. I'm going to hold control shift and left click to queue up like 4,000 of these. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make that, it's just so I don't have to come back here and click that ever again. Basically, if I ever put stone in this machine, I want it to be pulled into this device and turned into ingots. These ingots here are used to make everything else. Iron, nickel, silicon are used to make components, and gravel, inexplicably, will be used to make food. So I want to produce the crop grower, recycler, hydroponics, ah, emergency rations. That's the first thing we're going to want to get to here. So this is a little cube, I see. And it requires two interior plates, two girders, two displays, two con three construction components, so on and such as. All right, but the absolute minimum to build is four steel plates, five construction components, two motors, two computers. We can get that. Let's... Where am I going to put this? So if I hold left shift with my mod pack, again, linked in the description, I can see where my connector lines are. This is a very handy thing. So left shift makes everything transparent. I want to look for the blue lines and I see that I've got this parachute hatch. I think we're going to dig this out of there because there's no more parachutes and we'll put our emergency block in here. Okay, so I'm going to get that onto the build planner and all components are put into production. Middle mouse click, oh sorry, right click with a welder in your hand will put it in the build planner. Shift click on a sort of inventory slot like this will put it into production. So there we go, everything's being made, and I think you just middle mouse click to withdraw. Yes, middle mouse click will withdraw what it can. Okay, cool. So this thing should pull ice and gravel, and it should presumably produce the food we want. There we go, emergency rations dispenser. I want you to make me some emergency rations, which will make gravel. Make me 10 water and 5 food. How about that? It is making it. 15, 16, 17%. There we go. It is very, very slowly <laughs> producing water. Okay, that's... I am, fortunately, I see I am dehydrated, so that's a little scary. I don't know how long we have before we start taking damage, but I imagine it's not very long. One water pack takes eight ice units. We have 500. We should be okay. We'll, we'll give... I, I do see I am taking damage here. That's a little scary. I'll, I'll leave 160 ice in there. The rest is going to go back in the O2H2 generator just because I need to breathe while I'm in this cockpit. Okay, uh, you've made me a singular drinking water packet. Fantastic. So I should just drink it. Yes, okay, I did drink it. I'm now at four water instead of minus two. And I've produced gray water. Okay, so we need a recycler at some point. Interesting. All right, I'm going to get a little bit more stone uh, so that we can start building some more components for this thing. Holding left alt and middle mouse clicking on these inventory blocks will also deposit everything from your inventory into this one, which can be pretty handy. Uh, we're currently storing poo and wastewater in our cockpit, which is, there's a joke to be made there. I just don't think I'm smart enough to make it. Okay, we'll take more water and okay, each water gives me five-ish hydration. We should also definitely go check out that unknown signal. That's some pretty useful parts and we can get, there's a potential to get some rewards, like some power cells, right? That would be the real dream. Maybe a better tool. Can I make binoculars in this tool thing yet? No. Can make a gun. Oh, we have a rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a rifle. You know what? You know what? I would like to. Uh, I'd like to also make a pistol then, just as a backup. It looks like we also have a GPS signal in here. Okay. I'll create a GPS marker. Where? Where is that? GPS tab. Double click. SMDC station. Seven kilometers. Seventeen kilometers that way. Well. We've got a little bit more experience with the economy system now, and maybe it's worth checking out. All right, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll turn it on for now. We don't really need the respawn part on. I, I kind of know where it is. All right, I think that's enough stone for now. Um, we've probably got close to 500. Oh, we've got almost a thousand iron ingot. That's, that's pretty good. That's where you kind of want to be. I am actually going to put this gun away. I'm going to keep the small one on me just because it takes up less inventory space. And it is still something we can access. You know what? Let's just get that on the hot bar so we don't have to worry about switching. Uh, those iron sights are pretty usable. Yeah, cool. That'll work. I guess we just sort of start making our way towards that uh, station over there, the trading station. I don't see any reason not to. And I guess while we're at it, we can kind of scout for ore. Um, what I would do is use a little arbor breaking quickly. Thank you. 
And then I'd like to grab my ore detector and push the range all the way up to 200. That is done by the ore detector plus mod. The vanilla ore detectors, in my opinion, are a little too weak to be of any real use to anyone. There's an abandoned settlement over there. We're definitely going to want to check out. That might be a good way to, to garner some parts. I do see it on the edge of that cliff, so let's make our way towards it. And there's some gold and silver beneath us. Uh, we don't have the capacity to mine this right now anyway, so I'm going to get a slash GPS, uh, it's lowercase, and I'll put AUAG. And we'll just save that location, and maybe we'll come back for it if we don't get too far away. Gold and silver are very useful, but we can't process them now even if we wanted to, and it's going to take me forever to dig down there by myself. Anyway, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, the reason we can't really build anything on this sh little ship that is actually going to progress this playthrough is because normally when you play Space Engineers, you would start off with the rover, put some stone into the survival kit, and then you'd build yourself a little bit of a platform, right? That you could build your basic refinery on, you could build your basic assembler, assembler on, all that good stuff. That's not really an option for us, unfortunately. We need to build it on this thing, and as you can see, if I grab the basic refinery, there is no small grid version of it, only the big block. And that's just not going to fit on there. Now, there is a way around this, but it's a little bit cheesy, so I hope that you're not too lactose intolerant, like me. Before we worry about all that, though, there are two other problems I would like to solve. The first is going to be power. If we're going to be running those machines off of this thing, we're going to want larger grid everything, really. Uh, and the second is going to be resources. And I suppose the one does kind of solve the other. Let's park up on top of this hill, though. I'd like to build out some of the other stuff. There's a little wheel on top here for some reason. A couple of construction components. I think we're going to shave off some of these blast door corners. Because uh, I'd like to make a bit of a modification to the structure here. First thing what I want to put down is a hinge. This one right there. And I want to face it in this direction. It can go right there. That's fine with me. Now, I do need a large steel tube, which at present I cannot make. I'm going to have to pilfer that from something. Something here will have... Okay, that spotlight has a large steel tube. All right, we take off the spotlight and we weld up the lower hinge part. The upper one does not actually need to be welded. Okay, cool. So the lower half of our hinge is on. So I'm going to turn my hinge lock on. This is using the build info mod, which I really think at this point should be part of the vanilla game. Uh, you can access that by holding the control and then scrolling. Hold control wheel and scrolling down will give you the scroll menu, which I prefer. Uh, con holding control and scrolling up will give you this wheel. I, I prefer the, the, the list menu though. Okay, next up, we're going to place a rotor on here. I'm going to use the advanced rotor just because it's what I'm used to. And uh, we're going to weld this thing up. I'm going to take the part off the top. There we go. And weld this like so. Perfect. There's our rotor. Okay, advanced rotor two. Rotor lock on for one. And then I want to add a... Okay, add a small head to the rotor. Uh, we can weld this up. We don't have to. And then on that, I'm going to place a block. Uh, I think I'd like three. So let's make some more steel plates. All right, cool. So we've got ourselves a rotor. Oh, my fuel is running out. I got to sit in here for a second. That'll re refresh my gases. Cool. Okay, now I can talk to this thing, turn off the hinge lock, and I want to move my rotor. Uh, I need to go velocity. There we go. I want to move it down a little bit. And you'll see my madman's plan in a second. What are we stuck on here, boys? Oh, we're stuck on these, I see. Okay, I want to do something like that, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, then I want these blocks facing this way, actually. And then on these, I'm going to put some solar panels. Is it making sense now? That's right, we're making a solar fin. It's going to look amazing. It's also going to throw the, the weight on this thing way off. Oh, whoopsie. I ground off a light. Didn't mean to do that. Go in walkies. Um, sir, could you... Could you stop? Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. We have ourselves a solar panel. Very, very nice. Okay, so I should then be able to hop on here, unpark, and head out into the sunlight. Yes. Okay, great. So now the reason it's built on a rotor like that is so that I can angle this thing without too much trouble. So, I should be able to do this, go to my blocks, grab my advanced rotor. I would like to... I'd like to 
increase the velocity and decrease the velocity, but these things tend to turn pretty fast, if I remember correctly. Um, rotor lock off. Okay. So let's just turn that. There we go. And that is now in basically almost perfect sunlight. As the sun moves, it'll get better and better. All right, perfect. We can now drive. Uh, maybe not that way, though. Hold on. Why am I taking damage? Oh, I'm out of food. I'm out of food. Okay, did we manage to make the chow? Somehow not yet. Uh, we can make chow, though. So once it's made that, it should start making emergency food rations. Man, we got to get some more ice. That's what I'm realizing here. I think I think the majority of this ice is, is going is going there. I think we're going to have a little bit in the gas generator and that's it. Okay, let's uh, let's stand at the survival kit and just heal while we slowly starve to death so that it can produce us our food. Give us this day our daily mush, please. Okay, emergency ration secured. So we should just eat that. There we go. Okay, no longer dying. Or at least not quite as immediately. Okay, and then on the production side, we are making another one. All right, that's all well and good. I think I'd rather make this though. Ooh, an iron deposit dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. How delectable. And silver. Oh, God. Ow, my body. Uh, I'm a little bit stuck on the rocks. Okay, we're just gonna clamber on up over here. Uh, that iron's not overly accessible, but I do see a way down, I think. Um, I am aware that we are thirsty. Yes, thank you, game. Can I can I drink and drive here? Thank you. You know what? Just, just eat it all. Eat it all. All right. Stats, stats are looking a little bit healthier. Okay, we are moving down here. Ah! Oh, God. Man, the terrain is, it's really hard to see what kind of state it's in. I need a, I need a break. I need a break. Please put the parking brake on. Whew. All right, we're going to take this very, very slow. We're going to just inch our way down the hill with our ridiculous little solar sail tail. Slowly, 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 just like this. You try very hard not to get stuck here. I think we might have to, we might have to dig our way through this little bit here. Okay, just gonna squeak on through. Uh, Try not to scratch the paint too much here. Oh, come on, come on, we're so close. Come on, just come on. Yeah. Do a little bit more engineering. And we're through. He's the best to ever do it. We're in, baby. Oh, we're so down. Okay, which means I can now proverbially go up that slope over there and get to the signal we saw for the abandoned station. Oh, it is on. Okay, terrain's a little messy on the ascent here, but it should be manageable as long as we don't ramp too high and fall back down the mountain. Uh-oh. What did we lose? A uh, bit of bumper? Ah, I wasn't using it anyway. There we go. Okay, we're through. We're through. There was just a really glitchy part of the terrain there. Okay, it doesn't look like we lost anything too critical. Mostly just the front piece of the bumper here. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a pretty mountain. Looks a little bit like the Michalisberg in South Africa. You've never been? Don't come. Don't come. We don't need you. No, I'm, I'm joking. Please do. We need the tourism. Alrighty. Cresting the hill. Things are looking pretty good. Where do we think that signal was? Now, ooh, silicon, ice, magnesium. That is definitely worth noting down. That is worth noting down. Let's, uh, let's take a little GPS marker right over here. All right. Definitely worth taking note of. Uh, how's the solar panel looking? I think we need to flip it the other way right now so that we can get uh, maximum good. Oh, wrong way. Go this way. That should get in full sun. There we go. Yeah. That's exactly why I built that on a hinge so we could move it. So now the ice is allegedly beneath my toes. So if I just crouch down and right click, we should be able to get down to it. All right, we're at the ice level. So let's just dig forward until we find it. Oh, and there it is. We're thirsty. Well, back to grinder, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Aha! Success. Okay, let's just expose the vein a little bit more. And voila, we've got it. Okay, stone and ice are all good for us. So let's just grab a little conglomeration. A little rocky water. Never hurt anyone. Called mineral water, sweetie. Look it up. 
straight up, give me like 100 water packs. Okay, we are very hydrated now. This is a good place to be. How much power does it take, that emergency ration kit? It takes 150 kilowatts. Oh man, that's going to be chonking our batteries. Yeah, we need five solar panels just to make it. Three hours at idle though. Okay, at least the panel's producing something now, right? Like, what are you making for me? 40 kilowatts? Yeah, so... Mm, four panels would give us a surplus. All right, that's not as bad as I thought. All right, but we know where we can go for more ice. I think we've got enough for now. Let's continue moving north-northwest before the sun sets completely. Wreck detector ping. Uh, 4Ks that way? I don't know what that means. I'm going to keep going this way, though. But that's something we'll check out separately. Aha. Oh, my God. It's on the... Is it on the other side of the goddamn ravine? No, no. It's on our side of the ravine, I think. No, that's, that's a building. That's a building. We found it. We found it. We found something. Okay. Okay, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, it's a big something. It's a big something. It's a barn! Oh, hell yeah, dude. Look at this. Oh, this is exactly what we needed to find. Oh, it's a wheels? They got wheels. Oh. oh, baby. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Is there a remote control block on there? Another wheel? Oh, this is so cool. We've got a wrecked rover. Uh, we've got in here, we've got a bin. We've got a, what looks like a rotor in there, inside the bin. Is that a battery? That is a cargo container. Some gyros. Got a couple crates. We have a locker. Nothing in it. Is there anything in that shed? There is something in this shed. Interesting. Is that a programmable block? That is a programmable block. Okay. And I'm hungry. So I should be able to grab Chow now. No, I am not able to grab Chow because I'm a stupid and I forgot to switch this thing on. Oh, we're going to be... We're going to be hurting for a second here, people. Now, I suppose this begs the question, do you guys want to see me do a scrapper run where I have to find these components and then put them onto the rover? Or should we do just a more traditional playthrough? I think I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the latter, uh, doing a more traditional playthrough where we, where we can just build everything. You know, we can find these things for resources, but we don't have to steal the parts from them. Uh, that is definitely something we could do in future, but I, I think that I want this series to be a little bit more beginner-friendly and... I'm not sure if that really fits into that category, but I'd love your input. What do you think our approach should be on this? Um, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments, but uh, please understand that uh, Magic and I are going to do what we feel is best, but we, we, we do take your opinions very seriously with these kind of things. So let us know what you think, and I will make a decision based on what the feedback we get, you know? Also, I gotta find my cargo container inputs um, there are not great accessible points on this thing, are there? No. The most accessible port for my cargo container is currently being occupied by that thing. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, because I, I need to be able to put the larger stuff into the cargo container. Like, the, with the bulletproof glass, for example, but you can't move that through these small grid spaces, which is infuriating. Emergency rations. Okay, we live. Okay, I have eaten. I have eaten. And I have pooped. Fantastic. I think I want to do it like this, so put... We'll do two more emergency rations, make 10 more water for me to drink. Then you can make like 15 rations queued up. And then I think I want like 40, which I'll, yeah, this, this can just run and then we'll make it and then we'll have another 50 after that. Yeah, 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 like that. All right, anyway, I'm going to get busy scrapping this place so that we can start planning our rover build. I think I'm going to leave the platform here. I don't really need all the steel plates, but I am going to use this space to build our large rover. I think that's perfect. So I'm going to start taking down this structure. I love the design of these little storage structures, like this little box. It's it's really clever. I'm going to cut my way through it now, but I mean, I'm just just appreciating how well put together this whole this whole mod pack is. Well done, Splitzy. All right, so what have we actually got in here? Small reinforced conveyor tube. We've taken that. Uh, we've got ourselves small conveyor tube, small conveyor. All these components are fantastic. Another reinforced conveyor tube. All the motors and stuff. Oh man, I'll take a thousand of them, please. Uh, the mo rotor itself is pretty nifty. Mostly because we'll get another uh, small steel tube, which we can't make at this point. And then the cargo container. And in there we have some magazines and some displays. Cool.
Just one more thing I'd like to say about the whole idea of making this a scrapper or salvage uh, run through is that kind of that's exactly what Splitzy's doing at the moment. That's his current series, and I respect the guy way too much to steal off him that blatantly. Uh, we gotta like you know figure out some kind of contrived reason why it's exactly the same. <laughs> so <laughs> if you could figure one out, let me know. If not, then I think we're just gonna skip the whole process. Uh, I'm only gonna take the valuable stuff out of here. I don't care too much about the steel plates that we can find on these things. Uh, like if there was a large steel tube in there, that would be amazing. Programmable block, you know what? I think we just popped that off right there. So what have we got here? We got some offset spotlights. Yeah, we're gonna wanna make some of those. We got ourselves, oh, two more large steel tubes in that wheel. That is humongous. I mostly just want the stuff I can't make. Oh, I, I, did, I did not mean to grind down the battery, damn it. Oh well. Yeah, I'd love to get these batteries. Uh, the AI control module can get gone, but I want to sort of excavate the batteries here without damaging them. See, because they still have their power cells. That's pretty huge. Because we can we can get those off and then weld them onto our ship. Several days later. Okay, cool. So we got a bunch of batteries here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. That's definitely worth getting on this ship somehow. Please tell me that I have made some food. I have. Okay, Whew. All right. how are we gonna get you lot onto the ship? So I do have the experimentation mod on, which I believe if I have an empty hand, I can tap R and then I can pick stuff up. This is one of the mods on the mod set. So we can carry around this little crate. I do not have the attach detach mod installed for some reason. I'm gonna have to add that. Um, but that would allow us to separate these. But I wanna get all of these batteries onto my rover. And I think we need to build out a little platform here to do that. By the way, if you've made it this far into the video and you're wondering how I set up this scenario, it is a standard uh, solar system custom start, uh, all factors default, except I have turned off progression and turned on uh, cargo ships, as you can see, as well as a couple of other little things as a surprise, but it's all vanilla stuff. Uh, none of the mods I've got really add much in the way of settings, other than, of course, the uh, respawn, other than these scrap buildings, uh, which is one of the Splitsy's mods. Uh, very good mod, as you can tell. Big fan, big fan. And uh, that's uh, that's currently, if as far as I'm aware, that just adds uh, a f an option to enable the respawn for these structures. So you've got to start a world, and then I think you load back in and turn it on or something. I, I think I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a little bit of experimentation will will teach you how to do that. I I actually don't know how I managed to get it working. Okay, let's put together a little bit of a wheelbase like so. Also, why are you different on this side? Is this oh? That's a pretty good spot to attach the batteries to, but I do also have these slots here I'd like to make use of. We could also make a little trailer, but I think I'd rather do this first, and then I want to add more wheels over here. Uh, and so in order to do that, I'm going to have to turn my wheel suspension strength up. So take me to the back wheels, give me the suspension strength. There we go. Just push that up so that this thing's not touching the ground. And then give me the wheels. I want the 3x3 three three wheel suspensions. So I think I want it there but out one how are you oh because it's different i see that's the off-road wheel no no i want the apparently i want a regular wheel okay yeah put another one there and then give me a block here just to make the other one easy to attach to add wheel wheel could not be placed okay i need to give myself some space here give me a piston temporarily we face this down, like so. Okay, then that piston, I want to extend. So let's go ahead and reverse the velocity on it. That'll push the car up. Perfect. And let's add a wheel. Ha ha! There we go. Alright, there we go. We have expanded the wheelbase a little bit. Very nice. I'm going to have to paint this thing. Uh, let's do that right now. So give me the white. Ooh, and I am a thirsty, thirsty boy. Okay, cool. Add a little bit of greveling on the side there just so it looks a little bit nicer. And now we can grab ourselves a little sippy cup. Perfect. And that should give us most of the bar back. Per yeah, there we go. I am missing one large steel tube. That is the final piece of the proverbial puzzle here. But we are getting closer. All right, let's get this thing up on top of the rafters here. Let's just drag that over and then drop it in. It does not behave very well, but, but soon. Okay, could you, could you please stop? Could you please just, just fall? 
Yes, there we go. Oh, so close. Okay, pick him up. Pick him up. It's a it's a bit of a fight with the mud. There we go. Aha! We got him up on the on the ramp. Perfect. All right, now where do I want to glue this thing down? Uh, I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, which is always dangerous. I'm thinking we add another little bit here. Right. And then just glue him straight on the back. So I do want to keep this line open for, like, conveyors and such. So maybe we actually put them up a level. I mean, that would work right there. Father, help! And then I would put down a reinforced conveyor tube for the moment. This is just temporary. This is mostly just to get the blocks installed. I suppose we can just do it with, with regular blocks then, right? Okay, so let's get you up on top of that. Come on, land. There you go. And then I need to get this rotated. So I hold, I hold left click, and then I scroll to move it closer, and then I use the regular rotation tools. And apparently where you grab it is important. I'm seeing that now, yes. I've not grabbed it in the right place, it seems. Perfect. Okay, and then I should be able to put down a merge block and just merge it exactly like this. This is this is pretty much, I'll rotate it, but this should be it. That's exactly where I want it. All right, so now how am I gonna merge you on? I need to build a merge block. One of these, small merge block. So a little one here and a little one here. Uh, can I place this so close? I should be able to, yes, I can. Uh, I need the computer, bang. And there we go, merged. Okay, cool, so now that's the same grid. Merge blocks allow you to merge two grids. Who'd have thought? All right, so the back is far from complete, but we do have some fresh new batteries. Now I want to complete these. So I'm gonna grab all the partially constructed ones and just get them active. Uh, I gotta stop jumping off. I keep thinking the back of the rover is where I am, but it's not. There we go. I'm missing a power cell for one of them. We'll make that later. For now, we can just do this. So I guess I'm missing a power. Yeah, I'm missing a single power cell on this guy. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, I needed to hack them. Oh no. Take out the computers. Very carefully. You don't want to remove the power cells. It'll destroy it. And this thing's currently set to recharge. I want you on auto. Okay, cool. We got them all. Fantastic. So turn them all on and set them all to auto, which means they'll discharge and recharge as available. Perfect. Look at it. It's all green. It's all gorgeous. It's all ours. Oh, baby. All right, I'm going to keep them all rusty because I like the aesthetic. I think it's it's kind of fun to sh sort of show where we are in the process. Uh, let's quickly turn on the gas generator for a second just so that we get our uh, five ice being used up. Boom, boom. That's refilled the jetpack. Lovely. All right, so next time I will get started on constructing our new rover. It is unfortunately always sunny in Philadelphia, but not exactly sunny over here right now. So I think that's a perfect place to call it for the evening. If you want to see more of this playthrough, let me know down in the comments. Let me know in the in the, uh, the, the, the like bar. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Listen, influenza is a hell of a drug, brother. Let me tell you, I um, need to go to bed. But me and the yet to be named rover are looking pretty dang good. Well, I'm not looking all that good, but the rover? Rover's looking great. Mostly great, anyway. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Cheers. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top eh, 3% of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like, and here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here? It's a dead. fight for survival, I am dead. almost dead. dead, and I'd dead. really just like dead. another dead. stack. Dead. I Din. have a solar panel, but it's Din. not in Din. the sun, Din. and I'm really Din. beginning Din. to panic <laughs> on the savannah. Din. Din. Din.